Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with a full case break, our second one of the night of 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number two from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big, big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. 831, pick your team two, 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball. Mike McCarthy, last spot mojo, so thanks for that. So, Moss, yes, we do have a brick and mortar store in Redondo Beach, California. There it is, right there. That's the door. It's cl we're closed now, but I'm still here. Yeah, Arthur, I cut myself in the in the in, in, a, in the previous Top Chrome Hobby break. I think I cut myself on the box, not on a knife this time. Only second time in my in my case breaking career, last four years, that I've cut myself to to like to actually bleed. Maybe three times, maybe. Doesn't happen often. Oh, I see. The, the 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 real reason for Mike McCarthy and his angels is he's saying in the chat he went to Vegas. He went out with five. Came back with. 53. A couple zeros. It's pretty nice. That's a good return. See, you didn't need my help with baseball picks, my terrible baseball picks. Tomas, you're in San Diego. I went to I went to college in San Diego. UC San Diego. It's my alma mater. Home of the Tritons. Home of the Tritons. No football team there, though, folks. Which is why I'm not into college football. <laughs> Um, I should be though. Yeah, Stephen K needs a needs an early rally. He's got he's got to start off. Well, I'm feeling good about my Dodgers winning tonight, barely. So maybe a little Dodger Joe, a little extra Dodger Joe mojo, Stephen K. They won tonight. My panic level is still high. Yeah, I, I know I know the I know the town relatively relatively decently. I default to uh, college college sports wise. I default to UCLA. They have a good baseball program, basketball obviously, decent football. Oh. Optimus Prime, John Prine, trying to recruit me to the Gator Nation, to the to the Florida the Florida Gator Nation. I'm assuming they've got some nice colors, I guess. Um, my Florida State buddy might not be happy with that, right? Are they aren't they rivals or no? Is it a different conference? I don't know conferences. Um. I like that they uh, like that they got the whole gator chomp thing going on. That's that's kind of fun. I feel like I feel like the uh, I feel like the, the, the cheerleaders are easy on the eyes, aren't they? I think. At least for the football and basketball games. I think I, I like when they have a little little alligator sticker on their cheek. It's kind of cute. Dig that. All right, we've got Cody Bellinger. There you go. The rally has begun, Stephen K. Dodger Joe Mojo. That's the case hit right there. One per case, rookie debut medallion. I, I don't know how well these do on a secondary market, but this is a good start. 25 out of 99, Cody Ballinger. Who had a bit of a sophomore slump earlier this year, but now seems like he's starting to come around. So a good start for Stephen K and the Dodgers, who won tonight. I'm happy about that. 
And there's Austin Hayes as our first auto that goes to Lee and the O's. Uh, has anyone? Did anyone else go to a go to a division a division one school? I wish I always I always told myself that if this whole case breaking thing doesn't work out, that I would just I would just um, I would just go to grad school, you know, or law school or whatever. In a uh, and there's Ryder Jones, Oppo Joe Mojo for Lee and the Giants. At a Division One school, just just so I could have a Division One school to root for. Football, basketball, sixty-one out of four ninety-nine. I don't think the the UC San Diego Tritons aren't going to be making a splash in any major sports anytime soon. Any major D one sports? They don't have a football team, and they uh, I don't know if their basketball team's ever going to get there. Thirty-three out of seventy-five. Richard Urena. Oh, you're at San, San Diego State for you, Tomas. Yeah, they're finally they're coming around, right? Didn't they play Stanford tonight? I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know what happened in that game tonight. All right. All right. Good luck, everybody. I think, are, are all the scores final? No, I think the rain-delayed Sox game is the only game left in a couple of the West Coast games. Giants beat the Mets 7-0. Dodgers narrowly beat the Diamondbacks 3-2. Cardinals pounding on the Reds 12-5. Royals 9-2 over the Baltimore Orioles. Angels shut out the Astros in Houston 3-0. Minnesota holding off a, uh, a Texas rally, 10-7, Twins win. Pirates edging out the Braves, 3-2. Indians shutting out the Rays, 3-0. Blue Jays narrowly beating the Marlins, 6-5 in Miami. Phillies walked it off in the bottom of the 10th against the Cubbies, 2-1. Brew Crew taking care of the Nationals, 4-1. Yankees coming back to beat the Tigers seven to five. I just saw I just saw the uh, I just saw the highlights of that game on MLB Network where where Boone was very angry at the umpire and the yeah the Padres are on a bit of a streak seven nothing beating Colorado seven nothing Oakland with the edge on the Mariners seven to five and the White Sox. Are are in seemingly in control at the end of the eighth inning. They're leading six one. They just have to shut out, shut down the Red Sox at the top of the ninth. And I'll have another win for my picks tonight. Yeah, I will, uh, Tomas. I think the Padres are going to be sneaky good in the next two or three years. I think they're gonna they're gonna make a run like the Phillies or the uh, like the Phillies and the Braves are doing this year. You know, where it might surprise some people because they'll be like, oh, the Padres are two years away, but then all of a sudden, bam. I, th I think they're going to be right there. But they've, they've got some good, they've got some good players in San Diego. There's Troy Scribner. All right, that's one angel for Mike and the Last Bot Mojo Angels. Fernando Tatis Jr., yep. Mackenzie Gore. Isn't Anderson Espinosa down there too in San Diego? I like Hosmer there. I like Manny Margot. Manny Margot is still like 20 years old. So he's got time to develop. Oh, nice. Giovanni Gallegos for the Yankees. Stephen K. There you go, Stephen K. Stephen K. 
61 out of 250 on that one. You know, I like Will Myers. Oh, yeah, that catching prospect, Francisco Mejia. So I, I think they could... I think they could put it they could put it all together and surprise some people. And Stephen K saying I went to gradual intent gradual school, he says. Yes, I said gradual for about a year and a half before you realize you don't want to go there anymore. What what were you uh what were you studying? I like Hunter Renfro. There he is right there. Optimus Prime, who played a little, uh, if I'm not mistaken, played a little minor league ball as a catcher, saying that he, he really likes the uh, Francisco Mejia. Oh, for the poly side, what did you what did you want to do, Stephen K, with that? Were you gonna were you gonna go the academic route, think tank route? The law route. Now that's what I that's what I studied in, in, in college. The political science. And thought thought I'd do uh, thought I'd do the law afterwards. Until I realized I didn't want to do the law. This is a lot more fun. All right. Good luck, everyone. So for Francisco Mejia, Optimus Prime, John really likes his release, the footwork. Nice pop time. He's got a bat, too, right? He, he can hit as well. So... A hitting catcher with with good defense. It's pretty strong. I ah, pursuing the law. I didn't want to be a lawyer. Yeah. This. What do you well? What do you do now? I guess I we could always do it again, Stephen K. Whatever our respective life choices don't work out, and just you can, you can get a law degree online. You know, you, then and then be like better call Saul. <laughs> TD PCs Francisco Mejia. Well, what you know the good thing I think with Francisco Mejia is I feel like I feel like he's gonna get a lot of time in San Diego. Like I feel like in in in, in Cleveland on a big team that's always in uh, you know a perennial playoff contender, he's not gonna get like inning upon inning, game upon game to just kind of work on his game in the majors. You know what I mean? So I just don't think he'll get too many opportunities like that. You know, they'll be, they'll be like, oh, why don't you try third base? You know, play the outfield for a little bit. But in San Diego, I think he'll, he'll get all the time he needs in the, uh, in the backstop as a backstop. Uh, Tomas says, uh, I wanted to be the president of the United States, but then ended up being a network engineer, and I think Plan B was the best that could that could happen. Well, Tomas, being a network engineer does not preclude you from being our president. I think I think all all shapes and sizes can be president. Oh, you're doing cable now. I see Stephen K. Well, I'm doing baseball cars. <laughs> Parker Bridwell. For the Angels. That's from Mike McCarthy. Well, yeah, our Arthur Arthur's retired now. Arthur's living retired life. He's you've earned it though, Arthur. I feel like. All these years. Vanilla Gorilla, I, th I think I can, uh, I, could, I think I could keep my integrity as a lawyer. The law. Lawyers are all bad until you need one. <laughs> I need a good one. There are good ones out there.
There's Bryvek Valera. Wow. Red like the blood from the cut that I got. Red Ronald Acuna, two out of five for Stacy. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Ronald Acuna Jr. out of five. Stacy all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That is strong. Man. That is very nice. That is very nice. I'm glad I'm glad we did this case. Yes, sir, Mr. Vanilla Gorilla. Man, it's Mike. I was gonna be a. Uh, I was on lawyer trial. All my friends are lawyers. Like boring law. Nothing that could ever help me. Like, oh, I got pulled over and I got like a kilo in the in the wheel well. What do I do? You know, help me out. No friends that could help me out with that. Ah, oh, I was just, you know. Something like that. I was, it was just in a t tunnel. It was not, not my car. No lawyers like that. They're all boring, boring lawyers. Not fun lawyers. Oh yeah, this this is a lot. This is a lot more fun than running the running the legal rat race. Eighty hours a week or something like that. Oh, Tomas, you got you got a you got a national. Or oh, during a national break of immaculate, you got yourself an Otani. It's tough to see it in these tops breaks. They're a little more plentiful in Panini stuff. You'd love my job, but no, it's not rocket science. Nothing, nothing stopping you. You can uh, develop develop your own channel. Go on air. Entertain the masses, eight hours a night, from Tuesday through Saturday, three p.m. Pacific to eleven p.m. Pacific. There's Otani right there. Yes. Give give me your uh, unpopular your your not so unpopular opinion on Otani. There's Kiri Maya. John says sell him quickly. Yeah, I would. I mean, it's the price on on that is so high that there's nowhere to go but down. It's not like it's it's not like it's Bitcoin. <laughs> it's not like it's Bitcoin or it's gonna skyrocket by the end of the year. I'm sure you can be good at it too. All you gotta do retired life is stopping you, that's true. You'd rather just watch the guy do it. <laughs> we got Ryan Braun, forty eight out of ninety nine for the brew crew. Oh, there's our auto, Ronald Edetta.
I think the same thing happened to. There are very, very few players that will that will have a huge value and then still stay at that huge value. I mean, Otani's no different. Steven Strasburg, remember what the Steven Strasburg went for? You know, remember what Mike Trout goes for? Remember, you know, Chris Bryant even? Happens with everybody. Well, we, <laughs> it is fun. We like to have fun, Vanilla. That's what, that's what we do. We like to have fun. All right, so that Rangers autograph goes to Lee. There's Otani, Freshman Flash. Hold on to those. Well, John, John's saying he's an awesome player, but Otani will not be able to excel on both sides of the ball long in the big leagues. I so here's I don't know if you heard what I was what I was say what I was saying earlier or maybe last night. Why don't they turn him into a closer? He's starting this Sunday, which I think is a little silly. But why don't they turn him into a closer? He pitches one inning. At the end of the game, that's what, 60, 65 innings a year. I don't know how many save chances the Angels are going to have next year, but, you know, 55, 60 innings a year, perhaps. Maybe less. And he could hit every day. 30, 30 saves, 30 home runs. Thir new 30-30 club. I think that would be awesome. I mean, Angel's bullpen is just terrible anyway. <laughs> That's an it's an S show. That bullpen. It's a dumpster fire. It's not good. So why not why not put him back there in the ninth inning? Imagine imagine Otani. Yeah, that would be a sweet 30-30 club, right? Stephen K, the brand new 30-30 club. Imagine him him hitting the let's say he's at home in Anaheim. Hits the hits the go ahead homer in the bottom of the eighth, and then gets the save in the top of the ninth in Anaheim. Fans would say fans would say from beginning to end. Fans would say from beginning to end. Yeah, it's not an out of this world possibility, right? But yeah, you're saying so. You're saying health is the issue. Well, what about uh, the that kid in Tampa Bay, Brandon McKay? I think I think the Rays want him to be, be a two way player, or do you think the Rays will eventually make him pick one? I think there is going to be a generation of players that are going to be a little more two way. What about the uh, what about the, uh, the the kid on the Reds who was recently drafted, Hunter Green? I think uh, he's a, he started as a two way player. I do remember Rick Ankeel. But why not? Yeah, Rick Ankeel should have maybe been a starter or closer too. I, I wish it was Patron. But 
No. Lucas Sims. That's a big. That's a big glass of Patron. All right, Arthur. Yeah, good. Good work, man. I'm glad you got into that action. Glad I got that one for you. Um, have a good night, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Lucas Sims will go to the Braves. Stacy with that one. Nice one, Stacy. Got the Acuna Jr. to five. You got the Lucas Sims autograph. And there's a Branderson, Brian Anderson. That'll be for the Marlins. Darren McKenzie, D-Mac with the fish. Who's been having a great season, actually. As you know, someone else said that the other night, too, Tomas. They was they were saying, uh, like, baseball was the most fun during that sort of that, that Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire home run chase sort of era. There's Giancarlo Stanton out of 99. I mean, yeah, well, well, it was fun. <laughs> but you look back on it now and you're like, oh, that's what was in, you know, like that's what was driving it. And then you kind of feel bummed out. Although I do think that probably majority of baseball probably did do it. Oh, you still, you see Rick and Keel at high school alumni cha charity games and he can still swing it? Nice. Rick, isn't Rick Ankeel, he's, I think I read somewhere that he wanted to try to get back into it. I heard that. Yeah, I have to I, I have to admit the same thing. The the Sosa McGuire chase was fantastic. The Barry Bonds thing I didn't like as much just because he was Barry Bonds of the Giants and or Giants were getting so much love. Oh, I'll bet, John. The H E H probably never led there's probably a lot of new things now. But yeah, I think nowadays, I think we've been uh, what's good for what's good for baseball. I think nowadays is that uh, you're seeing a lot more young players come up the ranks. You know, and I th I, th I think that's making that's making baseball great again. No, it's always been great. I I love that baseball is my favorite sport. I would have to say it pretty easily. So. I think it's always it's always been pretty great. There's a few little things that would change, but everyone says, "Oh, baseball compared to football, it's always gonna they're always gonna lose ground." Blah blah. blah. That's probably true. There's fewer games in football, you know, so it's easier for the casual fan to pay attention to. I think baseball still does well, really, re uh, still does really well regionally, and just me, you know, maybe the Sunday night baseball game of the week isn't gonna get as much as Sunday night football, but it's still nice. Yeah, well, we should just make everything great again. <laughs> yeah, TD is right, Mike McCard. There's usually about three redemptions per case. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen one already, but but yeah, usually there's there's a few. All right, good luck, folks. We are halfway after this box. We'll be halfway through the break. Oh, there, there it is. There's Jacob Faria. Any guesses on that redemption? Jacob Faria to 79. I feel like Chance Cisco doesn't count anymore. I feel like there's always one per case Chance Cisco. That's too easy now.
Walker Bueller, that would make Stephen K very happy. He has the Dodgers, and that means it would be a um, a parallel as well. There's Ryder Jones, Oppo Joe Mojo for Lee and the Giants. Tomas says Otani, that would make Mike McCarthy very happy because that also means that it would be a parallel. Their base autos, I think, are live, Otani and Bueller, and the parallels are the ones that are. Uh, there's Ryan McMahon United that are redemptions. Clint Frazier would also make Stephen K very happy. He has the Dodgers and the Yankees. All right. Good luck. Behind Twins edition of Brian Dozier is a rookie autograph, just a rookie autograph of W A. Is it Walker Bueller? It is. I thought we saw a live autograph of his. Maybe some saw a live autograph of his last break. I guess some of them are live and some of them are not. Well, there you go. Do yours. There you have it. Dodgers won tonight, folks. Beat the GD Diamondbacks. And there you go. Yeah, TD called it. We need some. We need some. We need some lotto ticket numbers, TD. All right, second half. Looks like the white. Looks like it's all a final now, ladies and gentlemen. They finally finished that White Sox game, and the White Sox won. They beat the Boston Red Sox six to one, after a lengthy rain delay after a few innings. Which means I think I had a decent decent day with my, my baseball picks today, folks. Oh, man, what a day. It's been good because my, my August has been terrible. So I had the Yankees minus one and a half runs at minus 165. For you D-Gens out there. Won that. Lost the Cubs game, although I feel like I shouldn't have lost that. I got Toronto. They, they beat the Marlins by a run. I got the Twins. I got the White Sox. Reds were a super long shot. And I got the uh, got the Dodgers. There you go. Only, only lost two of the seven today. Five and two on the day, ladies and gentlemen. Got to make, make up for my, my bad August. Ending August strong. Got to finish September strong. Make up my August. Dollar, dollar bills that I lost. All right. Well, stay tuned tomorrow for, for more Saturday picks. I don't have soccer picks for you today, folks. I just did not work on my Premier League picks today. I'll do them later tonight. Might have some Major League Soccer picks tomorrow. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I do MLS picks, but just for the hell of it. I would appreciate it if you would spoil it. If you would spoil the Diamondbacks so, as a Dodgers fan, I hope you do that. Now, John John Prime was talking a little bit about HGH a little bit earlier. If I took, you think if I took uh, if I took HGH. I mean, how many cases of Topps Chrome Baseball could I do in one night without losing any kind of energy by the end of the night? Like 12? 
or is that or, or is that meth? Victor Arano for the Phillies. Johnny on the board with the fighting Phils. Oh, you think I'd be too swole? So I'd just be like, I couldn't even, ha I wouldn't have the flexibility or the, the nimbleness to handle these case rigs. All right, all right. So maybe there's a there's a drawback. John Samuelson. There you go. What 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 do I have to stack, Mike? What am I stacking? I'm stacking HGH. All right, so you so you you think I need more flexibility to to handle these case breaks? We got Chris Taylor for the Dodgers, CT three, two fifty nine to two ninety nine. All right, so oh the test oh, okay maybe then just trying to find ways to figure out how to. Break 12 cases, 90 out of 99. I work out. I, I, I lift cases of Topps Chrome Baseball every day. I'm, I'm doing curls of Topps Chrome Baseball. Those cases are heavy, you guys. I would be mad. I'm already, I'm already big. Haven't you seen me? The camera makes me look small. I'm... I'm Can't get too big. What am I? What am I? Maurice Jones Drew? Can't be like Maurice Jones Drew. <laughs> yeah, I'm cur <laughs> curling, curling, uh, curling twelve packs of beers. Yeah, those get it. Those are heavy too. Those are heavy too. Stephen Casey, he's got 16 ounce curls every night. I see. I see you. Yeah, I, I, I'm curling uh, j j bottles of Jameson, 750 milliliters of Jameson. Those, those are heavy too. They get, they get lighter. They get pretty light every few nights, but. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're we're a little over halfway through this break. We should be done with this break, probably close to the top of the hour. So thanks for hanging out with us. We are uh, we're done after this. Feel free to hang out and chat and watch the break. But we will be back tomorrow. There will be, won't be anything else going on after this. But we'll we'll be back tomorrow, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. We have one more. I just realized we only have we're down to our last case of this. So we only have one more case left. So I'll post that in the store um, after uh, after this break is over. So for those of you who stay up late with me, you will be rewarded by being able to get snag your team before everybody else snags them. A lot of teams go really fast. Michigan or Notre Dame? You know, Nick Jaspi, my colleague Nick Jaspi is the college football guy, Mike. I, 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 wish, I, was a, I wish I was a college football guy. But I'm I'm just not. Um, I guess my dad used to live in Michigan, so maybe Michigan. Although maybe he was closer to East Lansing. Maybe he was a more of a Michigan State guy. I don't know. I'll have to ask my dad. 
Richard Urena. I don't know who's – are are they any of them – this is how much I don't know about college football. Are any of them ranked? I would assume Michigan's ranked, but not Notre Dame. Are they – oh, they're both ranked. What? So I'm looking at right now, Notre Dame – or Michigan is ranked 14th going into the season, and Notre Dame is 12th. Well, that looks like a good matchup, Vanilla Gorilla. Michigan minus one. This is in Notre Dame. There's Zach Granke to 99. Had a great start today. Dodgers managed to get just enough off of him. You black out when you drink Jameson? No, Jameson's like my 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 nightly sort of like sipping whiskey. Good old Irish whiskey. It's pretty delicious. Out of 150, so I, I can my my body is is used to it. There's Chance Cisco, the real Chance Cisco autograph. That's what it looks like, folks. Some are redemption, some aren't. Lee with the O's. I think Jin kind of gets me in trouble. TD takes Michigan. Yeah, what does everyone think? That that sounds like a that sounds like a, sounds like a pretty Yeah, he signed just that one. <laughs> the rest are redemptions. That's right, yeah. Gin, maybe a little juice. Sipping on gin and juice. If it's good, if it's good enough for uh, for Snoop Dogg and friends, then it's good enough for good enough for me. Davy. With uh, with West Virginia over Tennessee, I hope he says. Davy, of course, a West Virginian. I wonder what EA has. Eric, I don't know if Eric's awake. He hasn't checked in today. Um, wonder what Eric has to say about that. EA, I think he actually he might be on his way to that game. Davey, did, did EA said he was going up to that game? Maybe he's at that game. Maybe that's why he isn't here tonight. You have a picture of you smoking with Snoop. That's nice. I hear he's a pretty cool guy. I wonder that he's carved out a pretty nice career. I hear he's a he's a, could be could be a football coach. He's got some good football knowledge. I think his kids. Is kids playing college football now, or are they still in high school? Well, it, it seems to me here, Davey, that West Virginia is ranked... Oh, he is going to the game tomorrow. The West Virginia is ranked 17th, and they are minus 9.5. So... So I think, I think West Virginia has a very good edge here. I think it would be, it would be EA hoping that Tennessee can beat West Virginia. I think the Raiders have a West Virginian on their team. I think Carl Joseph went to West Virginia. Is am I getting that right? No, I have not hung that ra uh, that Raiders art. I want to see if I could hang it here someplace. I kept it here. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, I want to try to see if I could hang that somewhere here. Uh, good offense, but no defense. Could be a shootout, maybe. Yeah, Carl Joseph is a West Virginia. Yeah. He started off the season a little injured. Uh, last year, his rookie year, 
kind of not quite healthy. But I think there's been some moments where... And he doesn't look very... It's hard to explain. I mean, I'm sure you'll know what I'm saying. He doesn't look very big. I, you know, just to be blunt about it. He doesn't look like a big dude. He seems kind of kind of lean, but the hits that he lays on some dudes is is definitely like you're like, "Oh." <laughs> you know, it kind of makes you makes you fear for the other guy's family. Um but they're I like I don't think they're dirty hits. So I think they're pretty. He he's a pretty clean tackler. But he always he if he if he gets a clean shot at you, man. He's he punishes punisher. All right, second to last box or fourth to last box seventy five. <laughs> Looking ahead already. That's Zach Granite for John Samuelson and the Twins. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's like. No, not big hits. Not big, but he hits hard. Miguel Anduar hits hard. There you go, Stephen K. It is high. It is far. It is under here. Miguel Anduar. Stephen K. And the Yankees, nice. There's Roddy Reed. So Stephen K, I, th I think I think we've we've got you back on track. We got the Miguel on Duhar. We got the Bellinger case hit. We got the Walker Bueller. We got a, we also have a bonus coming up, folks. Any guesses on this redemption? A bonus auto. So that Roddy Reed goes to Lee and the Nats. Looks like we're going to have... This is turning out to be a pretty nice case, ladies and gentlemen. I only just noticed the other day that it's Wilson with two L's. All right, so once again, Brian Dozier will reveal the redemption. You are due to receive a Future Stars autograph. Oh, Future Stars autograph of L. This could be anybody. O, Luke Skywalker. Luke, Luke Weaver? There's not too many Lukes in the league. It's got to be Luke Weaver. Luke Weaver, Future Stars autograph for the Redbirds. And that goes to Nino and the Cardinals. All right, there you go. Nice. Lou Weaver must have been really late on those cards. They didn't have they didn't have time to print out the blue redemptions. All right, good luck ladies and gents. I can't wait for just real football to start. Enough of that preseason nonsense. I mean, college football to start. It needs. So who are the who are the top teams playing? We got Ohio State. Um, playing Oregon State. That's got to be an easy matchup for them. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe after Urban Meyer drama. Urban Meyer drama. Oklahoma seven against Florida Atlantic. That's a that's a cupcake matchup too. 
I guess week one, they always play the easy teams, right? Like Clemson against Furman. Number two ranked Clemson against Furman. That can't go well for Furman University. I don't even know where Furman University is. Where the hell is this school? Who are these guys? It's the Furman Paladins. I have no idea where they are. Oh, what happened to the camera? Oh, there you go, camera. Camera wants to go home. Georgia's playing Austin. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, we got, we got, there's a good matchup. So the Michigan, Michigan Notre Dame matchup is a solid one. And Auburn, Washington should be a solid one, too. University of Central Florida played today or played Thursday. Looks like they put a 56 points on UConn. They scored a they they scored a basketball total at their 56. Oh, Furman is in Greenville, South Carolina. All right. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Wow, we got Breivik Valera. 21 out of 50 gold wave for Nino and the Redbirds. So Nino's got a couple hits under his belt. 21 out of 50. I think Nino already went to bed. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Congrats. All right, Mark Green in the house. What up, Mark? And another Cardinal. The Cardinals box. A Nino box. Harrison Bader. The last three hits have been Cardinals. There you go. All right. Now let's see if we can get some uh, any parallels here. Felix Jorge to 75. We got Buster Posey to 299. He's out for the rest of the season. Craig and Craig. And John Lester in the back there. Nice. Mark's asking if there's any big hits today. Well, that's like asking. That's like asking. Uh, did you did you breathe today? There were definitely big hits, Mark. We hit. We pull big hits every day. Pull big hits every day. I mean, just in this break alone, Mark. Just in this break alone. You have the Ronald Acuna Jr. Two out of five. Which is huge. That's just the tip of the iceberg. And I'll tell you what, Mark. Even if we didn't have big hits today, I would probably lie to you straight to your face and be like, oh, yeah. They totally had big hits. Big hits every day. But the videos tell the truth. We did have big hits today, including that one. Two boxes to go. Still could be big hits remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Cross those fingers. <laughs> That's right, Stephen K. 
that that's it's 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 good salesmanship is a is a little bit about hype. That's what that's what it is. That's why I always say, hey, let's stay positive. You know, let's because if we're just in that right frame of mind, it just I don't know. Otherwise, it's a gloomy environment. Everyone's like shuffling their feet and heads are hanging. And everyone's bummed out. And yeah, no one's really getting any big hits. I mean, I guess that Acuna was nice, but nothing else. Then that's just like sad times environment. No, we, we gotta we gotta we gotta lift it up. Everyone knows we're all. Everyone knows the score. You know, everyone knows that. Uh, hey, some days are better than other days. We always. My job though. Every day is the best day ever. Every moment, the best moment ever. A while ago, there was a there was a group of people who would always say who would always say, Joe, you, you somehow make the worst hit out of the box. You kind of make it sound pretty good. It's like, well, that's that's what I'm here for. Delivering delivering that uh, that experience as much as possible. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's hopefully these last two boxes will finish strong. I was gonna say we have not seen an orange yet. There's Manny Margot. Twenty five out of twenty five. There's our our hobby exclusive orange parallel going to the Friars. That'll be for Stephen K and the Padres. There you go, Stephen K. Um, he got the uh, the I gotta switch my brain to basketball, John. Um, Mohammed uh, Bamba, Mo Bamba, uh, out of twenty three, I think it was. Was it a cracked ice? There's Chris Stratton, starter for the Giants, for Lee, out of one fifty. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Sorry, my head's in baseball mode right now. There's AJ Mintner for the Bravos. That'll be for Stacy. I think we we were all speculating that it would go for like. Go for like four hundred ish dollars. Oh, nice! You just got the Padres just to eliminate the spot. Yeah, all those, all those like eight, eight dollars, seven ninety nine, nine ninety nine teams, ladies and gentlemen. This break, they don't really have much. It's really just you're buying and expecting nothing, <laughs> you know. But then you could get surprised with something. Like if you if you buy like a, a you know if you buy like certain teams like the Angels or the Mets or you I mean Braves you, you want to expect a little something but all those other smaller teams you just you just get them hoping you stumble into like a super fractor or, or one of one of the few autos that might be, may be available there and that out of twenty five is perfect example. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are into our last box. I appreciate everybody hanging out and chatting with me, ladies and gentlemen, because that definitely helps make the break go a lot faster, make it feel like it goes a lot faster. Nice. Yeah, John, you saw Mo Bamba play at the Phil Knight tourney? Yeah, I heard he's going to be pretty good. Jeremy33 was bummed out. That was like his guy that he really wanted to get. And he's just like, Arthur, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on IG. I want to buy it from you. And Arthur's like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet. He's just like, I got to get it in my hands first. But it was a very nice hit. And Arthur was very happy. Oh, John has a secret team that is gold for under 10 bucks. Always hits. Are you talking about the Twins and the Zach Granites? We already pulled the one for case, Zach Granite.
Oh, right. Oh, did I spoil it? I mean... Well, I'm posting another case right after this, John Samuelson. It's all, all for you. Hey, one day we might get like a Zach Granite like Super Fractor. What up, EA? Oh, the hit from the other break? I know, I'm sorry. I'm not happy about that Origins football situation either. I'll tell you that. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. There's Trey Mancini, 87 out of 99 for the O's. Um, I, I, I didn't I didn't do any any I don't do any college football Mike McCarthy that's the thing there's Ryan McMahon for the Rockies that'll be for Johnny no not yet Mike <laughs> no I don't think so sorry there's Victor Caratini right there I'm lucky you're a good guy EA a man of integrity and honesty I appreciate that one of my as much as it steams you. That's why we like you. There's Victor Carantine. That's out of 499 for the Cubbies. That's from Mike Koontz. All right. So no Glaber Torres for you, Stephen K. I know. I don't blame you, <laughs> Eric. I'm not happy about that situation either. For reasons like that. All right, there's Richard Urana. It's Travis Shaw. And uh, we're closing out with Ian Hat, Tanaka, and Nolan Arenado. And there you have it, boys and girls. Pick your team number two, our second hobby case of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone was in a baseball mood, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Nice couple hits to end it. Nice Ronald Acuna Jr. red for Stacy. That was very nice, Stace. So appreciate you getting in there. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We're done for the night, but I'm going to be posting another case. So by the time you watch this replay, you'll see... Uh, You'll see that in the store. Check it out, folks. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.